Uh, this morning, we're going to kind of uh, end this episode about David's sin and redemption, his, his sin with Bathsheba and God's forgiveness after David's admittance of his needing help and, and seeking forgiveness. Uh, we're going to kind of come to the end of this section. Uh, the results of this sin and this period in David's life are going to be seen really through the rest of his life. Uh, and we could argue even th into his children's lives. Uh, but really, this middle portion is going to come, come to an end with, with bookends right now. Um, so we're going to look in uh, 2 Samuel 12, starting verse 26 to 31, and kind of bring an end to this section. So read with me, if you would, verse 26 of chapter 12 in 2 Samuel. Joab fought against Rabbah of the Ammonites and captured the royal fortress. Then Joab sent messengers to David to say, I have fought against Rabbah and have also captured its water supply. Now therefore, assemble the rest of the troops, lay siege to the city and capture it. Otherwise, I will be the one to capture the city and it will be named after me. So David assembled all the troops and went to Rabbah. He fought against it and captured it. He took the crown from the head of their king and it was placed on David's head. The crown weighed 75 pounds of gold and it had precious stones in it. In addition, David took away a large quantity of plunder from the city. He removed the pre people who were in the city and put them to work with saws, iron picks, and iron axes, and to labor as bricklayers. He did the same to all the Ammonite cities. Then he and all his troops returned to Jerusalem. Now the reason that this section, uh, I, I say brings an end to this this, these passages bring it into the section is because we came into this section, remember in chapter 10, the war with the Ammonites that, that uh, Joab led the troops in. It's this battle at Rabbah that David stays home from. David refuses to go and fight specifically against the Ammonites that Joab leads, and this is what begins the section of David's sin. What do we see here as we come to the bookends of the section? Well, we're reminded, uh, I read it and I'm reminded of everything that we've talked about over the last couple of weeks. God is redeeming David. Uh, yeah, 75 pound crown. Who'd want to wear that, right, Justin? Um, David is reminded in this victory of how his sin began. We have to get in the mind of David. David is reminded what was happening when this battle started. He was staying home. He saw Bathsheba. He slept with her, tricked her husband, murdered her husband to hide his sin, and then loses his child as a result. Thankfully, prayerfully, uh, he responds well to the rebuke of God through the prophet Nathan, and he co confesses his sin, seeks forgiveness, and God redeems him. I believe this section is even reminding us, not just with the birth of Solomon in the previous verses, but with the capture of this Ammonite city, that God has not given up on David, that God redeems what was broken, that God took David, the man after his own heart, the man who fell so deeply, shattering at least three of, of uh, really, we could say four, five, or six of the Ten Commandments. God is not finished. Why? Because the man and woman of God is not perfect, but quick to repent and quick to receive God's quick forgiveness. That's exactly what this episode teaches us. We can all fall to sin. We're all susceptible to sin. It's, it's a topic for another day, but don't ever think you are above any particular sin. You can fall just as David fell, but you also have a God who's ready to redeem you, to forgive you, and to say, come back. This is what it is. God gives victory to David's army through Joab, and Joab gives honor to King David and says, come and lead us into victory. God is not finished, and God is not stopped by your sin. David's call is still the same. I heard, heard said just the other day, I might mess it up, uh, uh, God's call on your life is not limited by your situation or your capacity. Did you hear that? God's call on David's life is not stopped because David sins. God's call on David's life continues and David is still used by God because he's quick to repent quick to seek forgiveness and receive forgiveness that God might keep 
using him. Ladies and gentlemen, God is not done with you. Whether you feel like you're too old, whether you feel like you're too sinful, whether you feel like you've made too many mistakes, whether you feel like you're too uh, weak in your faith, whether you feel like uh, whatever it is, God is waiting to use the distinction of a man or woman after God's heart is not their ability and their capacity and the, the big things they do, but their willingness to say, yes, God, I will go for you. And when they sin and make a mistake, their quickness to say, please, God, forgive me. This is what this episode, chapters 10 through, through 12 of 2 Samuel the description of David's fall to sin and redemption in God. This is what we need to know. God is not finished with you. So repent, accept forgiveness, and let God use you. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for today. We thank you for the example. We thank you that your salvation is awesome and your forgiveness is quick and you are ready to keep using your men and women. Help us to be quick to repent. Help us to be quick to seek forgiveness. Help us to accept your hand of forgiveness and let you work powerfully and mightily in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining us again. For those of you who, who hopped on after I, I greeted everyone, uh, good morning. Hello, Miss Joyce and Doug. Uh, hey, Don, how you doing? Great to have you all with us. Uh, we will not be here tomorrow. It's Saturday, uh, but we will be back uh, right here Sunday morning. Uh, if, you, if you're not able to join us in person, uh, join us here on Facebook and Instagram at 1045 on Sunday morning. And then, of course, Monday right back here at 11 o'clock, we'll continue in our study through 2 Samuel. Have a blessed Friday and weekend, and I look forward to seeing you Sunday. Thanks. Bye.